Hey, you know, it's me, Miss Carver. How are you doing? <laughs> uh, it's math. We're going to do math. And this week we're going to do a little graphing. Um, oh, excuse me. Goodness gracious. Uh, last week I took a little survey. I asked you guys some questions in all the, in our, in our small group meetings. And so uh, uh, I wrote down tally marks and gathered that information. It's called taking a survey. And I want you to go to um, Tumble Math Books and watch Tally Marks. I think is the name of it. It's in the must-do list. Uh, tally Marks. So it's taking information. So it kind of explains to you about uh, how to collect information with um, Tally Marks for survey. And we've been doing that with the weather. We've been collecting. We've been doing Tally Marks all year for weather. And, you know, this is be the time that we would look at the weather chart and we would graph that information we would analyze that data and we would make that into a graph for rainy days but now we're not there so um we don't know how many days it is but it was a lot of sunny ones i can tell you that and we you know had to, a couple of foggy ones this year it would have been an interesting but anyway so go look at that book uh tally marks and look at how to collect information for the survey and then um there's a uh, brain pop pictographs making graphs with pictures and there's bar graphs now we've done some bar graphs uh in the past and uh graphing apples of the favorite kind of app, uh, flavors of apples the and then uh, a couple of other ones we've done you've done i think some uh, i don't know if we did the valentine candy but anyway so uh watch those and then i'm sending you the survey information it should be coming in a email with the must-do list it's in another attachment that has all the tally marks for all of the votes that are the questions I ask. And I don't know how to make a group of five tally marks with one, two, three, four with a slash across the four. So it's, if there's five, it's four straight ones and then one backslash. So that's my five. Okay. So you take the information and you decide and make a pictograph or make a bar graph. And, uh, and then I want to see your pictograph or bar graph where you could do one of each and uh, then you go, uh, after you figure out what you want to do with that information, you can go back to Tumble Mass, and there's a book that tells you step-by-step step how to make a pictograph and a book that tells you step-by-step step how to make a bar graph. But uh, we can look at, um, I took the information from uh, Favorite Trip. We said, did you want to go to the beach or did you want to go to the mountains? I asked that. And so... Uh, I put up here that it's a pictograph, and then favorite trip, and then here's my key. Uh, my hands been bothering me, so I didn't want to do a bunch of drawing. So I use my stamp, my address stamp. Uh, if you see an address stamp, it equals one vote. So, uh, oop, beach and mountains. So I look over here on my chart that I, oh, let me turn the right page, hang on. My tally marks. For beach and mountains down here, I kind of kind of sloppy, and uh, so it said for uh, beach, I had eleven tally marks, so that's eleven votes. So how many of these do I have to put in the beach column? Eleven. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And for mountains, it said I had four votes. How many of these do I have to put in the mountains column? Four. Yep, that's right. All right, so this is what it looks like. So four votes for mountain. One, two, three, four. See, each one of these equals one vote. And then uh, 11 votes for beach. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Each stamp equals one vote. So that's my pictograph. You're going to make a pictograph, too. You can draw a real simple picture. They'll tell you how to do that in the tumble math. Okay. And then the bar graph, I decided I would do um, favorite ice cream flavors. So I had to make a grid for this one for me. Uh, this is the way I like to make it. On a bar graph, you put the title up here. And uh, on one side, you put the whatever it is that you're voting on or talking about. And this time, it's ice cream flavors. And then on the other side, you're going to put the numbers, or you can put the numbers on this side and the flavors on this side. Depends on how you want to do it. Um, 
this was just easier for me. And then I look at my votes and then I color in the bar to correspond with how many votes I had. And you can see for chocolate, I've already got um, four votes for chocolate. So let me uh, get another marker and color in a different one. Got to go back to my ice cream information. So favorite ice cream. So for strawberry, I had four votes. So let me color in strawberry real quick. One, two, three, four. That's going to be almost the same as chocolate. Yeah, exactly the same as chocolate. So let me color those in. Try and do it fast so it doesn't bore you. Okay, and so there, there's four for strawberry. Okay, and then let's look. So got bubble gum. Somebody picked bubble gum. Uh, one person. So let me put my cat back on my marker and get a marker for that and for that one. How do you say it? I'm going to color it for that. One vote. How many should I color in? How many do you think it's going to be? It's going to be one. One for bubble gum. There are four um, cookies and cream. Have that one too. We get a different marker. Get green for that. Cookies and cream. I got uh, one vote for cookies and cream. So I'm going to color in one box for cookies and cream. Cookies and cream. Dang, that came out. Just, that's green, almost like the one above it. Green for one for cookies and cream. And then for, what do I need? Uh, chocolate mint. One vote for chocolate mint. So, what should I color in for chocolate mint? Let's do a yellow for chocolate mint. One vote. One vote for chocolate mint. There's one. Let's do um, vanilla. Vanilla, I have three. Well, vanilla, we will use orange for vanilla. Three for vanilla. This is three. And the other one I have is cookie dough. Cookie dough. How many cookie doughs? I got two votes for cookie dough. So, what shall I color in for cookie dough? You think? Okay, hang on. All right. Two for cookie dough. So there's my bar graph. And now I've organized that information, favorite ice cream. Uh, and I can look and I can see what was the two favorite ice creams. And that would be the longest ones for strawberry and chocolate are the two favorites. And what are the least favorites? That would be cookies and cream, chocolate mint, and bubble gum. And uh, then there were like two in between and two and three. So how many people like strawberry ice cream more than they like cookie dough ice cream? See, look at cookie dough. It's got two and strawberry has four. So two more people like strawberry ice cream than like cookie dough ice cream. Hmm, interesting. So, all right, bar graph and what I knew was a pictograph. Pictograph. Hi! It escapes me. Wait, there it is. Pictograph. Bar graph. I left my name off of that one. Sorry. Shame on me. Name's on that one. Uh, it doesn't have to be an elaborate picture. If you got a stamp, you can use a stamp. Or you can just draw a little smiley face. Something simple. I just didn't want to have to draw. I just want to be able to stand up. That's my anyway. uh, Science. I'm not going to do a science lesson because your science is going to be the research that you're going to do on your um, pond project and your uh, project that you make, whatever it is, your representation. Uh, Miss Stamp is going to have a video on how to do the pond project. It's kind of a little slideshow. And it kind of gives you step-by-step -step instructions. And... Uh, 
The other kindergarten teachers are going to have videos on Davis Kindergarten. I'll put mine on my my page and their page, so that they'll all be there. And you might want, you want to go and look at their animal videos and uh, see what their craft is, and you might help you figure out what you want to do. And um, so, and social studies, you're going to go. Uh, it's on the must do list. You're going to go to Simbalu, and you're going to look at the Mexico tile. And there's some little activities there for Mexico. So, um, why is Tuesday important? Yeah. So, uh, that's it for science. And that's it for social studies. And that's it for math. Don't forget your graphs and try and do some word problems and some naked numbers. And uh, relax, y'all. Okay. Big hugs. Long breathing. And see you later. Stop here.